big one. Yeah. And he's actually in there, and he went in nice and slow, yeah. and he has not moved. That's what I'm saying. We've been watching this garden for over an hour. Yep. Yeah, right. He's a big one. He's as thick as my arm. That's all right. The donkey's on that side. Open this gate so we can see if he went across there. But now he's there somewhere. Ouch. And he was quite slow. Yeah. He wasn't fast. He said, I watched him and I thought, shit. Trusted to get in the plant and all the spikes and stuff, eh? Hey? There. He'll be underneath all these plants. He's in, he's in under them plants. Yeah. He just went straight, he was on here and he just went slowly straight back in there. So he's, he's, I don't care if you want to, if, if you want me to cut, cut something back or this, I've got pitchforks here. Oh, yeah. Just to move the plants, I think. All the, all the stuff, or I just I was going to do it and I thought, no, I'll get eaten. Yeah. He's definitely not on this side, he stayed in there. Yeah. Oh, we've been watching the whole time. Mum's been up there and I've been here. So he definitely hasn't gone away from that middle part. Here we are trying to catch an eastern brown with another poor person that spent a couple of thousand dollars on snake repellers attractors. Pardon? Oh. I was talking to the camera about your snake attractors. Yep. He only bought them a month ago. It's a gimmick. If truly, if somebody designed something that uh, deterred snakes 100%, whoever designed it would be a billionaire tomorrow in every house of heaven. Called up under there, yeah, yeah, it will. He will. But uh, what to say that it's not under in a snake's uh, sorry, a, a rat hole.
be enough to get him out, huh? He's in there. If it was just underneath the roots there, yeah. Yeah. But if it's down a rat hole, it's having a nice venom that by now and doesn't care about what I'm doing up here. Right.